Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about to keep up on its war effort in Ukraine, Russian manufacturing capabilities has steadily increased this year. Just last month, the Russian Ministry of Defense has received additional new squadron of SU-34, which is around 12 to 24 aircraft. Now, UAC, or United Aircraft Corporation, an Irkut aviation plant has delivered additional batch of Su-30 SM-2 to the Russian Air Force, while all the ordered Su-30 SM-2 to the Russian Navy were all successfully delivered. Although the Russian MOD, they didn't specify how many aircraft they received this time, but the current order was for 21 aircraft for the Air Force. For now, we couldn't verify how many aircraft still needed to be delivered to complete the contract. There are 113 SU-30 on the Russian inventory at the start of this year. The SU-30 SM-2 Wish is the latest variant. It'll have features similar to their most advanced 4th generation plus plus SU-35 aircraft. Its power plant would be the AL-41 engine, and it won't be using any more of the old bar radar used by the older SU-30SM, but it would be using the Airbus radar similar to the SU-35. The contract was also to upgrade all SU-30S and SU-30SM variants until next year. This put the SU-30SM2 almost at par in terms of performance to the SU-35. The SU-30 SM-2 will be able to use the entire spectrum of modern high-precision weapons from air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons used by the SU-35, including the CAB-250 glide bombs as well as X-59 MK-2 air-to-surface missiles with a maximum range of 285 kilometers. The SU-30 flanker is a very proven aircraft, and many of its variants were exported to countries like China, India, Algeria, Malaysia, Belarus, Myanmar, Armenia, Indonesia, Vietnam, Kazakhstan, Venezuela, and Angola. The aircraft is a crew of two and it boasts a maximum takeoff weight of 34,500 kilograms, 17,000 kilograms of bombs, maximum speed of 2,120 kilometers per hour, service ceiling of 58,000 feet, and maximum range of 3,000 kilometers. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.